Hello again. So this is the continuing saga of uh, the seeds of an idea. Can you hear the bells? And I'm back up at St. Michael's Church now. And behind me, you can see the Carolyn. Uh, that's an octave's worth of levers that ring bells that are up in the bell tower. So you can see the, the wires going up there, disappearing into the top. And I was just thinking that if uh, I do carry on doing this piece of music, then it should really involve the bells. I'd like to involve the bells, of course. Uh, the only thing is, I wasn't sure how fast someone would be able to play the bells uh, here, this Carolyn, uh, if we do this live, and I hope we would do this live. Also, going to find out what pitch this is compared to the pitch of the uh, piano and even the organ. So I'll have a bit of fun with that. So you can see the octave here is from C to C. You can see it's C to C. And um, these would be on the piano, the white notes, there's a couple of black notes here, F sharp and A sharp. Anyway, let's give it a go. So with that initial video, I was starting the piece in E, which is this. And the bells are C to C. So while I was here, I thought I would introduce you to the organ as well. Well, a bit of it. Uh, so the 2020 celebrations of music that I'm going to be doing isn't necessarily what you would call church music, but obviously I'd like to include all the opportunities to make live music that the church has got. So we've got the piano and the bells, of course. Uh, there's a big bell, which I didn't try just now. And we have, of course, the organ. Uh, and I'll show you the C on the organ as well, and, and then I'll hopefully compare all three of them together. So, here we go, starting the organ up. Okay, right, so this is a fairly soft setting, you can see. setting I can see on here. So in a nutshell, I wanted to find out if I use the organ, piano and the bells all together up the church, would they be in tune with each other? This is the church piano. So that's a C on the piano and this is an actual C. So they're quite close. When I say actual C, this is a you know, concert pitch C. Uh, then there's the organ. Quite close, not quite 
not exact, but quite close. Uh, and then there are the bells, which are, as I said before, they've got C written on the handles. And this is the, this is the C note at the bottom of the bells. So here's a C and the bells play their C as this, which is near enough an A. So the bells are three semitones lower, generally speaking, than the organ and the piano of the church. So if I want to take advantage of using the bells live, as there's only one octave of bells, uh, even though they're called C to C on the actual handles, uh, they're A to A near enough uh, in actual concert pitch terms. So when I did my piece of music, the improvisation at the piano the other day, uh, it started off in E, so it was... That was where I started, sort of. But really now I have to do it in A, so... To fit in with the bells. There you go.